hello everyone today i am going to show you guys how to create this building facade in revit if you look closely at the elevation of this building you can see that these windows are all fixed at an angle of 45 degree from the wall whereas these extended elements are changing their dimensions from window to window so instead of drawing every window i am just going to make the family parameter of one window and then change its dimensions in the project open new family template file of window first of all reduce the text size then go to the interior elevation It already has some built-in references and the parameters like uh, default cell height, the length and the uh, the height and the width. So you can change it and make adjustments. Now place the reference plane. below the cell level and above the top reference plane at a difference of 6 inches make sure to lock these dimensions so that if you change the height of the window these two new reference planes also move along with them now go to plan and place two reference planes from the wall at an angle of 45 degree so that they meet at the center again go to elevation select swept blend click on sketch path set the reference plane to this wall and draw the line from this reference plane to the to the top one and lock these now if you change the height of the building the sketch path line will also move along with it now draw a profile the first one as shown in the video now place a reference plane at this point and lock this dimension select line select this reference plane and lock the line at this point repeat repeat this process on this reference plane as well now place a dimension from this point to this point and assign a parameter to this dimension now if you change the length of this dimension like say 5 feet it will change its angle as well but i want to fix the angle at 45 degrees so now i am going to place an angular dimension between this line and this line and then going to lock it so now 
if I am going to change the length to 5 feet, the angle will remain fixed at 45 degree angle. Now click OK. Click on select profile 2 and draw a profile as shown in the video. Place an angular dimension between these two lines and fix it at an angle of 45 degree. Also place a reference plane at this point and lock its dimension. Select a line and lock down this to this line to this reference plane and repeat the same process on the other side as well. Now place a dimension from this point to this point and assign parameter to this dimension as well. Click on finish. The basic structure is now complete. Now I just need to create an opening within this mess. So go to plan mode, select X. So this select void extrusion. Set the reference plane to say level. And draw the and draw the extrusion as shown in the video. Click on finish. Go to elevation mode and lock this elevation to this point. Now I have an opening within the swept plant. So now I need to change this dimension to 4 inches. So you can see that as I have changed the dimension, the, uh, the other extended part also changes its dimension. You can add different dimensions within this dialog box to see that the parameters are working correctly. To draw the window, assign a name to this reference plane. I'm going to name it sliding window. To draw the frame of window, select sweep. Click on sketch path. Set the reference plane to sliding window and draw the path as shown in the video.
now click ok click on edit profile go to plan mode and draw the sectional plan of frame as shown in the video Click on finish. The window frame is now complete. But the frame has now moved within the wall. So I am just going to edit the sketch line and move it to the inner side. Now select extrusion, set the reference plane to this part and draw the rectangle in the interior elevation as shown in the video. Now draw an offset of 2 inches on all the four sides. Fillet the edges. You can also move the frame to another position as well. Again select extrusion. Set the reference plane to this inner part. Go to plan mode and draw, and draw a rectangular plan for the glass.
provide a material or glass to this extrusion. Go to elevation and lock this extrusion till this point. Now select this window frame sorry copy and paste it here the window is now complete and it looks like this Before we load this window into the project, we need to do one little thing as well. So, select this parameter, click on edit parameter and select this instance instead of type. Click OK. Repeat this process on this parameter as well. Because if you keep the uh, parameter to type parameter, then if you change the dimension of one window all of the other windows will change its dimensions as well so make it so to keep this window unique you have to select instance so now open new architectural template file click ok go to elevation and draw two more levels at a distance of 10 feet between each of them now go to level 1 floor plan keep it connected to level 4 and draw a wall now go to the window and load it into the project and place the window on the level 1 floor plan as shown in the video. Now I am simply going to select the window and edit its dimensions one by one.
Now go to level 2 floor plan and again place the windows on the exact position. Again change the dimensions one by one. Now go to level 1 floor plan and select all of these windows. Then go to level 3 floor plan. And place these windows on the exact position. Go to elevation, draw one more level at a distance of 10 feet 0 inches. Then go to level 1, select the wall and connect it to level 5. Go to level 2, select all the windows. Then go to level 4. And paste the windows in the exact position. The elevation is now complete and it looks like this. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to watch my other videos as well. If you have any queries, feel free to ask. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, please like, share and subscribe.